Hey there guys, in this video let's see a tool called Qul and this is going to be a full tutorial on the Qul tool. So what is Qul? So the Qul tool is a custom password list generating tool and this blog post will be in the description box below, do check it out. So let's directly go to the practical session. So in example 1 what I did is generating a default password list. To do it, just go to the Kali machine, so I just opened my Kali machine and just enter Qul and before we generate a default password list you can find this tool in the password just go to the application menu and the password attacks you can find the tool over here or if the tool is not installed just enter apt get install Q. so let's see how to generate a default password list and a disclaimer this video is only for educational purpose so i'm just trying it on my own site okay without their permission don't use this tool so i, I have just enter https my site and also let's uh, save it in an output so I'm just saving it in techie.txt let's give enter and now it is going to be a waiting game you should wait for an hour or you it, it may take up to half day so we have to wait for the passwords to generate so let's give control C and exit and let's do cat techie.txt and we can see the custom password list has been generated using the QL tool. So we can see when I enter QL on the target, it generates a random uh, password list. So what if you need a particular password list? So for example, let me uh, go to the example 3 over here. We can see that generating specific length word list. So to generate a particular specific length, you just need to enter the minus m command so i'll just go all the way down so the password list is very heavy so let's enter q and the target and minus m and i am specifying specifying the minimum word list so let it be 8 and let's output in a file let me enter t3.txt let's give control c and let's move to the file that is t3.txt sorry guys i made a mistake it is t3 so now we can see all the custom password list which are which has a minimum word list of uh, minimum letters of 9 so we we have seen the command sorry it has a minimum word list of 8 so we have entered the minus m command so if you have any doubts related to the commands just enter q minus minus help i think you know this you can find all these commands so we have used the minus m command is the minus m here so we have used the minus m and let's see the next example so then let's see the second one we have skipped this one so we are using the minus w command to save the outputs so we can see so it is pretty much easy to save the outputs to save the outputs you can just use the arrow mark or you can just go for minus w capital w it is minus capital w and uh, mention the directory so i'm just going to save in the slash home slash os boxes and slash uh, t3.txt so i'm just saving it in here So I think I got an error I guess. So it is not minus capital W. So it is minus small w. Okay, let's give control C. And let's move to this particular directory. Slash home slash voice boxes. Slash t3.txt. So we can see all the password list. And we have seen how to output it in a particular directory and a file and in the previous example we have seen the minimum word list how to use the minus m command and also we have seen how to generate a default password list so let's see the next example example 4 so in example 4 we are just counting a particular number of words so this is the most useful command in the Qul tool because uh, you will be counting the repeated keywords so this will be helping 
while doing a brute forcing attacks or dictionary based attacks so i will just enter q and the target and let me enter minus c and let's give enter and also you can specify the keywords so like this you can specify so i didn't specify you can specify what are the keywords you are particularly searching for so let's give control c let me move all the way up so over here we can see that it has counted all these particular keywords it has counted repeatedly so let me go down and let's enter this command so minus c minus m so minus m is going to be the minimum word list and it is going to be 9 and let's give enter so now we can see all these minimum keyword list so it has counted all these keywords and also you can save this in a particular file and can do a brute forcing or dictionary based attacks but don't do it without their permission let's see the next example so this is how to count a particular keyword so the next example is increasing depth of crawling rate so using we can increase the depth of crawling rate in almost uh, every tools we have seen how to increase the depth of crawling rate in the sql map and also in the derb and the derbuster tools so let's enter minus d command let's let me enter q minus minus help so the minus d command so the minus d command is over here depth to spider default 2 so these the minus d command finds uh, in depth passwords so let me enter q and the target http and let's uh, count the words and also let's specify the keyword the minimum keyword list and also let's enter minus depth and also let's save it in a file so to save it let's enter the command that is the minus w and let's mention the directory so it is going to be os boxes and slash ff.txt let's give enter so it says that there is a missing url argument so i think we are making a mistake let's use this ff.txt so i think the uh, this few commands are not working with the minus t so let's enter minus t straightforward so now it is working i guess so it is minus t or either minus minus depth i don't know why the minus minus d command is not working so let's enter minus minus depth dpth I don't know why the command minus d or minus depth is working um, so the minus d command is not working but you can see in the screenshot the minus d command has worked so I think it is a problem in the updates I think I didn't update the tool so you can try with your Kali machine and just uh, try the minus d command and you can comment down below it is working or not Let's see the next example. So the next example is pretty much very easy. It is using the minus V that is verbose format. So it is a human readable format, of course. So let's enter minus V. So we can see what is going on over here. So we can see how it is generating the passwords and where it is generating the passwords from. All these stuffs we can see. So it is pretty much very easy to use the QL tool and let me summary it and finally we have seen the example 7 generating alphanumeric password list. So generating alphanumeric password list you just need to enter the minus minus width minus number command so I have also entered this uh, particular command. So QL HTTP the target and minus minus width minus uh, numbers now it will generate pass uh, numbers also let's give control c 
and we can see it has generated numbers also yeah we can see all these uh, numbers so it, it is kind of a password but wait a minute this is not a password for my site so let me summary the QL tool so firstly we have seen the, the how to generate the default password list and uh, we have seen how to save the password using the arrow keys and also the minus w command and uh, in the example 3 we have seen how to use the minus m command there is the minimum word list and example 4 we have seen how to count a particular keyword repeatedly and in example 5 we have seen how to use the minus depth command and unfortunately it didn't work for me but i think it it will work for you guys so just try it and comment down below so we have seen the verbose format we have seen the minus v command in almost every tools and uh, we have seen the minus minus width minus number command for generating alphanumeric password list and to generate an alphanumeric password list the QL tool is not that worth so to generate an alphanumeric or a uh, or very custom password or very a tough password you just go for the rainbow crack so it is over here so just go to the cdusr so slash share rainbow crack let me do list and go to charset.txt so if you want to generate a tough password just go for the ascii 32 minus 35 file so it is going to be the tough password and it is going to take forever and make sure that you have space in your system so i think that's it about the QL tool and comparing to the crunch tool and some alternatives for the QL tool is crunch toffee so these are the alternatives for the QL tool and my favorite is the crunch tool and also the QL one and the toffee tool is specifically made for twitter and yeah the QL tool is uh, good so just go for it and give a try and if you like this tool comment down below i hope this video is helpful for you guys so make sure you give a like and comment down below and also subscribe see you next video guys